Hello everyone, Orito the Weep here, and today we're taking a look at Sakura Yen Android from Honkai Impact 3rd, number 908. This figure captures her elegance in a chibi way perfectly. She's also one of the most expensive Nendroids in the current year, averaging around 25,000 yen, costing more than even some 1 to 7 scale figurines. Alright, so this is the figure herself, Nendroid Sakura Ye. She looks very cute from all angles. Her hair is pink, everywhere is pink. And let's see, her ears. I'm pretty sure they're detachable. And there we go. Both of them are now out. Looks a bit weird without them. Let's pop them back right in. Very easily. And let's take a closer look at the base. It's a bit tight to remove, so you'll need some strength, but do be careful not to pull too hard. And here's her base off. Whoa, her arm fell off. Let's pop it right back in. There we go. Now, the base. It's, as usual, very good. Text is clean. Mihoyo there. And you can see it very clear. It's also an L shape because any other angle won't fit because of her hair. It's annoying, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Now, for the sleeves. It looks very clean with no QC issues on the Sakura or any of the pink paintings. So that's amazing. And now for the accessories. She comes with a bunch of accessories, which is surprising. Shy face. Hmm. Cute. Angry face. I think there's some scuffs there, but I removed them later. Here's the uh, default face, yes. It's taking me a while to pop her head off because I don't want to break it. And that looks very cursed. Jesus Christ. But it looks very cute. As usual, Nendroids are very cute. And for the hair itself, looks very nice. Sculpting is clean. No QC issues. Let's pop it back right in. I'm struggling. I don't know why. There we go. And there. Pop right in. Here's the sword. Looks nice, clean. Fits into the hand really well. There we go. He has the alternative sword. It's only half because you're meant to put it with the beam effect. The pain looks really nice. The gold is a bit off because QC, but it's fine. It's an android. It's very small. Here's the thing you put it in. Small gap. There we go. I'm struggling, but it's fine. I'm actually struggling. Hold on. There, you gotta put it in the correct side. The other side won't really work, and it pops just right in. Very simple. She also comes with more arms, more legs, and of course, the pieces come with the signature Good Smile Company face. See? You can see it right here. Let me turn it a bit. Hold on, there we go, it's a bit blurry, but that is the face. The sculpting on the arms once again, looks really nice, the red lines, hands are taken off very easily. You can pop it back right in. And now more arms, she has way too much, I don't know why, but they all look really nice. And here's the spare neck joint part, as usual, every Nendor comes with one. And the smile, so you know it's real, with some minor QC issues on the top. Here's the onigiri. It comes with two holes on the bottom, so the hands can wield them. Here's the instruction manual, which I never use, but you could use it if you require it, especially the Kantai collection androids. Without it, it's almost impossible to assemble those. She also comes with a postcard, I think. 
I don't know what it is, but behind it, there's a code, which I'm not going to show because it's mine. See? And now for some poses. Now for some size comparisons, Robot Spirits Aerial, 1-2-4-3 Skyline, Nendroid Kirito, Nendroid Danhang, Nendroid Surter, Fake Mamori. So, final thoughts. Is the Sakura Yen Nendroid worth picking up? Absolutely, but only if you can find her at a reasonable price. Paying 25,000 yen is pretty steep, but if you're a big fan of Honkai Impact 3rd, she's a must-have for your collection in my opinion. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, and see you next time. Bye bye!